Hi, this is Divine Harmony with the Cosmic Insight for the week of November 18th through November 24th. The week starts off with Mercury, who is now direct, aligning with the evolutionary north node on Monday. This is an aspect that was already made twice due to Mercury's retrograde journey, and this is the third and final time that these two will align before they move on. With Mercury, the conscious mind and intellect aligned with the North Node, we do well to pay attention to conversations, communications, ideas, and insights that come in at the start of this week. We can have aha moments, bolt out of the blue awarenesses. We can have information coming in that sheds light on areas of life that we weren't quite sure what was up. We need to be aware that the information may not be what we want to hear, but it's going to be something we need to hear. And so attending to what comes up and taking note of it is important at the start of the week. On Tuesday, Chiron, the wounded healer, stations direct. He's been retrograde for several months now, and the wounded healer's energy has been focused inward and downward. It's been a great time for dreams and reflection and introspection, but now that Chiron is stationing direct, we can move out with all that we've kind of realized or thought about and then act upon it. With Chiron stationary, it makes him the most powerful planet in the sky, along with Mercury, who just was stationary on Sunday of last week. So with Chiron, one of the most powerful planetoids in the sky, the themes of wounding and healing are a huge focus this week. Looking at our stuff around boundaries, codependency, enabling, addiction, denial, can all be a focus. Diving down and in and really looking at what's coming up is highly recommended. There is this desire when our Chiron wound is activated to just kind of run in the opposite direction because it is that like deepest, most internal place within us that all people have to do is blow on it and we feel like we just got like sucker punched. And so knowing that that energy is likely to come up this week can help us work with it and navigate through it with consciousness and awareness as opposed to our old pain body reacting. On Wednesday, Mercury trines Chiron and sextiles Pluto, activating the Pluto-Chiron sextile that was exact last week. This is a great day for healing, deepening, transformative communication. Really bringing up everything that needs to be addressed and dealt with and sharing it with others or acknowledging it ourselves is a focus. Again, these aspects were already made two other times by Mercury because of Mercury's retrograde journey. So this can be kind of the day where we're sort of wrapping things up. What we're thinking about, what we've been reviewing, revising, rethinking. Again, this depends on your own personal natal chart, so check weekly horoscopes to know where this applies for you personally. But attending to what comes up with all these Mercury aspects this week is really important, as there's kind of a closure, completion of a cycle happening, and you want to pay attention so that you can let go of what needs to be let go of and move on when it's the right time to move on. On Thursday, the sun moves out of watery, intense, deep Scorpio and into fiery, expansive, light-hearted Sagittarius. The coming month of the Sun and Sag is a great time to celebrate, have fun, get out there, socialize, travel, explore. It's not, you know, happenstance that we have the holiday season when the Sun is in Sagittarius. But on Sunday, the Sun squares Neptune. And so we need to be aware of where we're over-idealizing, fantasizing, seeing what we want to see, or wearing rose-colored glasses in life. Sagittarius and Pisces are the two signs that really prefer to see the prettier side of things. And yet we've got a lot of Scorpio playing out right now and there's definitely a shadow aspect that needs to be acknowledged. The positive side of this is it could be a good weekend to just kind of set aside all the intensity and just have a little fun. But if you've been kind of setting aside the intensity and avoiding it and just having fun for like the last several months, then this weekend can be a time of taking off those rose-colored glasses and seeing where you're diluting yourself. Yours in the stars.